Pastor Brees, Pastor's Corner, we thank God for you. Um, last Sunday, we could not do anything. My wife's brother, my brother-in-law passed away, and uh, we had to uh, leave service. But we thank God for all of your prayers and all of you that have reached out to us and cards and phone calls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, uh, actually, we talked last week. This, was, this week is the part two of the sermon that we did last week, uh, No Pretenders. And one of the things that we talked about was when Jesus' inner circle, uh, which was Peter uh, and John, and, uh, and, and, and they were in this uh, inner circle that they had together. Now, part of that, uh, when they were in there, you saw that there was not just them, but now Paul was coming along. And when Paul came on, although Paul was not a part of the inner circle, they began to share. And at some point, they shook Paul's hands in agreement. Um, in that what Paul was getting ready to do is he was going to have a ministry where he preached to a certain segment because Peter preached and Paul preached. One preached to the circumcised, the others preached to the uncircumcised. But the message had to meet together. It had to all come together and join together. And when it did, that meant it was the same message no matter which group you preached to. One believed in the law and that you had to be circumcised to be saved. And, and now we realize that you no longer have to be circumcised, but it's about repentance, asking the Lord for forgiveness of your sins, and then accepting Jesus Christ in your life, which is salvation. So they preached those, but then they had that hand, they shook hands because they wanted that same, to uh, know that they were going to be together, but they wanted that same message preached that it would go across, that it was about salvation, about being saved, but it was not about works. So you can't work your way into salvation or into being saved. You have to repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. There may be those that are out there today, whether this is YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Vimeo, we thank God for you. And we're asking right now, there might be someone today that really wants the Lord to come in their lives and save them. Whatever you are, today is your day. You may feel like there's no way that a holy God could ever love somebody like me when he would know the things that I did in this body. I want to tell you to dismiss that. God loves you no matter what. And if you're out there today and you've never accepted Christ, you've never been saved, today is your day. And I want you to just bow your heads wherever you are. Take the hand of the person that's right by you. If there's nobody by you, get on your knees, stand up. But I want you to pray with me. Lord, touch my heart. Forgive my sins. I receive you in my life today. Lord, I want you to save me. Change my life. Change anything that needs to be changed in my life. Wash me. Clean me. Make me whole again. These are all blessings I thank you for and I ask in Jesus' name and for his name's sake. Amen. I heard you say amen. If you prayed that prayer with me today, you are saved. The inner circle was Peter, James, and John. And they were a part of the inner circle of Christ. They came and what they did is they shook hands with Paul. They realized that the ministry was all going to be that same thing, the same message, repentance and salvation. And that's what's important for us. So when we look at all of those things, that's what the message is today. It never changes. It's, it's the same thing. It's repentance and salvation. If you're out there, wherever you are, I want you to know that God loves you and the opportunity is ours right now to accept Christ. If you accepted him, I thank God you did. We thank God that you're saved. Come on and write us. If you can't come to church, come to church. We'd love to have you here. But if you can't, write us. Let us know you're saved. We're at 2 Water Street, Pinston, Pennsylvania. 18640 is the zip code. We'd love to hear from you. Love to know that Christ saved you and that you're doing well. And we thank God for you. Until then, I want you to have a wonderful holiday. Enjoy. Be safe. And hopefully we'll see each other again. God bless you. And may God be with you.